Hello, and you're with the hairy golfer at Lilybrook. I'm on the 16th tee today, and I got my driver. Now, somebody threw out an odd question, which uh, I've had to think about for a while, and that was, how do you improve your driving? And um, that, that gave me um, pause of thought, I can assure you. Well, I'm not a teaching pro. I'm not even a low single figure anymore. But I can certainly give you some thoughts on it. The first thought is, is if you're hooking and slicing, I can't help you. Go book yourself a course of four lessons with your golf pro and get it sorted out. Also, if you think that the driver is for beating as hard as you can, I'm not going to be able to help you either. So what is the driver for? Well, it's the same as any other tee shot, whether it be a three wood, three iron or nine iron on your shortest par three. The purpose of the tee shot is to set up the hole so you can complete it in the lowest number of strokes. So beating the hell out of it isn't exactly going to give you consistency, is it? But improving your driving doesn't start here on the tee box. It starts on the practice ground. So let's get off to the practice ground. Right then, your round of golf doesn't start on the first tee. It starts here at the practice facility of wherever you're playing. I got myself the minimum basket here of 20 balls and I'm going to hit those 20 balls. And the good thing about this thing is it tells the truth. You can watch how it flies. You can find out where's my grip today, where's my aim today, my stance, my posture, my takeaway, my downswing, everything. You can learn everything from how this thing goes. It's either that, or you go to the first tee, you pull out your driver, you have three practice swings and you go. And then you find out the hard way how you're playing that day. So I'm gonna hit these 20 and that gives me the chance to make slight adjustments. Where am I aiming? Is my ball going to the target out here? Is my grip okay? Oh, sorry, I'm a bit croaky. It's just absolutely lamped it down here and it's freezing. So I've got to figure out, I've got the chance to fix a few minor problems before I go out and play. And that is what this facility is for. Uh, so let's get cracking. Um, the sun is behind the building. Um, so if you're gonna be behind me, the, the light isn't good. It's in the evening. I'm not actually playing golf, but I'm just, well, you know, you make do in the winter, don't you? knifed the hell out of it, didn't I? So, wouldn't you rather that do this here than in the middle of the first fairway? Assuming you hit the fairway. So before you play, you can sort out your issues and you've got a better chance of going to that first tee and hitting a good drive and that's what it's all about preparing yourself for golf now before you do this every week once a week you come to the range you get the hundred basket of balls whatever it is and you have 50 or 60 of those with the feet together drill I can't emphasize enough 
how the feet together drill will improve your timing. And you do it slowly, slow back, slow down, slow through, and you go through those, those balls slow, not like a machine gun. Um, you've probably seen that drill a number of times. I'll do a few here, but I'm not going to show you the whole 50 or 60 balls. And then once, once you're finding this rhythm and this timing, the acceleration at the bottom of the swing, when you look at Ernie Els, the big easy, the guy hits it miles. All right, he's a big unit, he's a tall guy, he's got long arms, he's going to hit it miles. But it's a slow downswing. The acceleration comes from waist high to waist high. And that's what we're trying to achieve in our own little amateur way, is acceleration from waist high to waist high. That's where the speed is, not the big heave ho from the top. So um, let's go back to that tee shot and see what I do with it. Right, welcome back. So you've been to the practice ground, you've worked on your rhythm and your timing, and trying not to hit the ball, but to sweep it away. You've loosened up before your round. So what you do here, and we'll imagine this is the first tee, but it counts for every single tee on the golf course. Now, if I come round behind you here, we have got a big tree down the left-hand side, and there's heavy rough down there. You don't want to be in there. We've got goodness knows how many trees down the right, and heavy rough down there, so you don't want to be in there. You need to hit this fairway. So it's important that you get yourself lined up to where you want to go and tell yourself where you want to go. If you're worried about water and bunkers and trees and rough, then where's the space in here for your target? Now, I'm not suggesting you do a Jason Day and close your eyes and imagine some shot shape. All you gotta do is pick a target, think about that target, tell your muscles where you wanna go. If you're thinking about trees and water and sand, that's where you're gonna go. So I'm gonna pick a target in the distance. Actually, let's, let's, let's pick a target. So my target in the distance is going to be just left of that path there's a willow in the background so i'm going to aim at that willow and then i'm going to pick something in front of the tee box to aim over then when i get there so once i've picked my spot I get myself parallel to it. Now if you hit a fade or a draw, whatever your shape is, then obviously you're not going to aim exactly the same spot as I am. I'm looking to hit it towards that path with a little fade. Now if you look at all my videos, I can assure you that nowhere amongst my videos will you see me trying to hit at the golf ball. This is a chess piece. It's not a ball, it's a chess piece and you move it around the board. So just remember, rhythm, timing, you're not gonna hit it, and you think about the damn target. Now I'm gonna to have to cut this, otherwise the shot tracer takes forever to render when you've got a long video like this. So you gotta trust me that I'm only hitting one shot here. So I'm just going to put the club down, pointing at my short target, and then I'll look at my long target. First time, got it first time. There's no hit. It's a slow build up of speed from the top and the acceleration is at the bottom. If you try and hit from the top, 
you're never going to hit fairway. You're going to be inconsistent. You're not going to hit 12 fairways around. You're going to hit seven and you're going to be making doubles. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Just remember to practice that feet together drill every time you go to the range. 50 balls, feet together, and don't hit the ball. Just sweep it away. Find that timing at the bottom of the swing. Cheerio!